Being two great players who are known all over the world, Ronaldinho and Erling Haaland are two great stars who have different skills and unique aptitudes. But have you ever wondered which of them has the greater expertise in each skill? In this video, you're going to see a fierce battle between Erling Haaland and Ronaldinho. So, let's go for the fight! Passing Everyone knows they're both exceptional players, but who has the better passing ability? Ronaldinho, for example, is considered a great benchmark for this skill. The Brazilian star was able to put the ball exactly where his teammates needed it to create goals, finding great spaces and valuable opportunities for his team. Ronaldinho was considered a midfield maestro, able to influence games with his incredible passing ability. In addition to his excellent passing accuracy, Ronaldinho was also able to make beautiful passes with effect, curving the ball into unpredictable trajectories and deceiving his opponents. Erling Haaland, on the other hand, is an extremely attack-minded footballer whose main objective is to score goals for his team. According to the Champions League 2023 statistics, the Norwegian made 92 passes in 11 games, with an accuracy of 76.2%, a meager average of just 8 complete passes per game, which shows that he doesn't take part in the construction of moves very much. As Ronaldinho is better at this skill, points to him! Endurance In terms of physical endurance, both players have always been good, but who can move more during matches? Ronaldinho, for example, was a player who managed to have remarkable physical stamina, which allowed him to shine brightly on the pitch. He was able to create plays and unbalance the opposing defense, even at times when he showed signs of fatigue. Based on the distance he traveled in the competitions he took part in, Ronaldinho averaged 8 kilometers in a match. Erling Haaland, for his part, is a player known for his impressive physical strength and also for being able to run around a lot during matches. According to the Champions League 2023 statistics, Haaland covered 103.7 kilometers in 11 games, an average of 9.4 kilometers per game, a figure that shows he has good physical stamina. As Erling Haaland covers more kilometers, points for him! Speed The two football stars have always been agile players on the pitch, but who can reach the highest speed? Ronaldinho, for example, although he wasn't known for his speed, was able to compensate by using his agility as well as his ability to make quick changes of direction. In addition, the Brazilian star had exceptional ball control and could run with the ball very close to his foot, showing all his dexterity and agility on the pitch, keeping possession of the ball while advancing towards the goal. There is no official record of his top speed, but it is estimated that he ran at around 32 km per hour on the pitch. Erling Haaland, for his part, is a striker who excels in this area. He can outpace his opponents with ease, leaving them behind in his dash toward the goal. His speed combined with his physical strength makes him a player feared by opponents, exploiting gaps and taking advantage of good opportunities to score goals. According to the Champions League 2023 statistics, Erling Haaland's top speed was 35.8 km per hour, making him one of the fastest players in the world. As Haaland reaches higher speeds on the pitch, points to him. Strength In terms of fitness, the players have different characteristics, but which one is the strongest? Ronaldinho, for example, had a good physique, standing at 6 feet 0 inches tall and weighing around 176 pounds. These marked characteristics gave him an imposing and remarkable physical presence on the pitch, as well as an excellent natural ability to deal with physical clashes effectively. Erling Haaland, on the other hand, is a player who excels in this regard. He has an impressive physique, standing at 6 feet 4 inches tall and weighing around 194 pounds. A very unusual physique for a footballer, even more so for a player who plays as a striker. His physique helps him a lot in terms of being able to hold his own and easily take on weaker opponents. What's more, his enormous physical stature also makes him a very dangerous player in the air, managing to outpace his opponents with ease in the air and scoring impressive headed goals. And since it's hard to beat Erling Haaland in that regard, points to him. Dribbles 
Both football stars have exceptional skills, but which one stands out more when it comes to dribbling? Erling Haaland, for example, is well known for his impressive speed, but although he's not as skillful at dribbling as other players, he manages to make up for it with his physical ability and effective finishing. He tends to use his strength and agility more to evade his markers and create good scoring opportunities. Ronaldinho, for his part, is considered one of the greatest dribblers in football history. One of his most iconic moves is the flip-flap, in which he stretches the ball to one side and quickly pulls it back. The Brazilian star was also fond of the step-over, a technique in which Ronaldinho simulated kicking the ball, but with dexterity and agility, he used quick foot movements to keep hold of it, confusing and destabilizing defenders. Ronaldinho's refined and masterful technique with the ball has become a trademark and has been admired throughout his career, and because Ronaldinho is one of the best dribblers in history, he easily wins this round. Assists both players are very collaborative on the pitch, but who has the better ability to provide assists? Erling Haaland, for example, despite being more goal-orientated, is also able to help his team with good assists. According to statistics from websites specializing in the subject, it is estimated that Haaland has managed to make 39 assists in 203 games, which represents an average of 19 assists every 100 games. Ronaldinho, on the other hand, was a player who valued the construction of collective plays. The Brazilian was responsible for driving the ball forward with mastery, at the same time as creating chances for his teammates, playing the role of an extremely creative midfielder. According to the available data, Ronaldinho charmed the footballing world by providing around 187 brilliant assists in 500 games, a good average of 37 assists for every 100 games played. And because Ronaldinho has a much higher average, he easily wins this round. Shots and Goals Both players perform very well on the pitch, but who has the better goal conversion rate? Ronaldinho, for example, was a very technical and creative player with the ability to invent improbable moves and finishes. His ability to shoot at the right time was impressive, leaving opposing goalkeepers with no chance of defense. He was known for his ability to finish with his right foot, especially when taking free kicks for his team, which often resulted in spectacular goals. Throughout his career as a footballer, some sources estimate that he scored around 313 goals in 500 games, which represents a good average of 63 goals every 100 games. Erling Haaland, on the other hand, is a true goal scorer, known for his incredible ability to shoot in many different ways, demonstrating his great talent regardless of the situation. The Swedish star has an exceptional nose for goal and is able to shoot very efficiently and accurately. His physical presence also makes him a constant threat to opposing defenses in the air, with an excellent ability to position himself and find spaces in the box to score goals. According to statistics updated in 2022, it is estimated that he has already scored 177 goals in just 203 games, which means an average of 87 goals every 100 games. An impressive figure even for a center forward, as Holland achieves impressive figures points to him. Awards Both footballing idols are very prominent on the pitch, but which of them has more significant achievements? Ronaldinho, for example, has won the FIFA World Player of the Year award twice throughout his career, but has only won the Ballon d'Or once. As for the clubs he's played for, he's a little behind, his most important honors being the Copa Libertadores and the UEFA Champions League, playing for the Brazilian national team, Ronaldinho stands out more, having won the Confederations Cup as well as the much-disputed 2002 World Cup. Erling Haaland, for his part, has won several trophies for the clubs he has played for, including the German Cup, the English Cup, the FA Cup, and recently the Champions League. As an individual, he has already won several top scorers and the title of Best in the World at the Globe Soccer Awards. In other words, we can say that Ronaldinho was the most honored player of the two. Market value The two football tycoons have always been highly coveted, but which one is the most valuable and in demand by clubs? Ronaldinho, for example, experienced the peak of his career playing for Barcelona, 
because he was twice considered the best player in the world, which ended up increasing his salary exponentially. At the time, he was considered the highest paid footballer in the world, earning a salary of $10 million a season. Turning to his most expensive transfer, Ronaldinho's record was his move to Barcelona in 2003 for around 32 million euros. Erling Haaland, on the other hand, is one of the highest paid players in the Premier League, currently playing for Manchester City. He receives a basic salary of £375,000 a week, which works out to around £18 million a year. But due to performance bonuses, this figure can grow exponentially to around £865,000 a week, which is almost £45 million a year. When it comes to market value, Haaland had his most expensive transfer in 2022 with his move to Manchester City for €63 million. Euros. As Holland lives in a time when football is more valued, points for him. At the end of this battle, we had four points for Ronaldinho against five points for Erling Haaland, and he was the winner. But if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below.